Our three main pillars for posture and movement are going to be these deep core muscles, our glutes that power movement, and also our thoracic spine, which is basically the mid to upper back. So set up with your knees slightly bent and try to connect your entire spine to the wall. Now throughout this exercise, you are going to want to use each breath to lengthen the spine and also deepen that connection. But I find when I connect my upper back to the wall, I'm also finding new alignment in this core region because I'm feeling some of my core muscles stuck or a left to right discrepancy. So the first step that you could do is just breathe and get a sense of how you are aligning your body while leaning against the wall. The next thing you're going to do is bring your palms up. And the main thing that we want to focus on is this humerus being straight up and down. So you're going to have to bring your elbows a little bit off the wall. We do not want this flex position. We want the humerus straight up and down and also aligned with this torso. And just finding that shape is going to put a lot more tension on this mid to upper back, the thoracic region. While we're here, we want to find our stomach vacuum. So we're retracting the ab wall as much as possible, trying to use those deep core muscles to stabilize our system. Again, each breath is expanding our T-spine, which goes straight up and down and also connects the shoulder blade. Every inhale is expanding and then every exhale is helping you find a deeper connection into the wall and also more integration in your system. Level two will be to start lifting your elbows so that they are even with your shoulder blades. And again, we do not want to let our shoulder blades hike up towards our ears. We want to keep these as depressed as possible. While connecting our mid and upper back to the wall, this is another way to extend the lats and also fatigue this mid to upper back area as much as possible. And remember our breaths in through the nose, helping you expand that T-spine as much as possible and exhaling, helping you sense the wall and also bring further integration into your system. Level three is going to be holding some dumbbells in this position. And remember, keep this humerus straight up and down, keep it in line with your torso. We want the thoracic region to fatigue before the biceps. So remember, a good, a good cue for that is to keep this at 90 degrees. If this is at 90 degrees, you should be able to hold more of the tension in your mid to upper back. 